The Russian military launched more than 100 ballistic and cruise missiles into Ukraine last night. President Biden says with that, President Putin declared his war. Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly economically and strategically. We will make sure of that. A senior defense official telling ABC News the president is sending an additional 7,000 troops heading to Germany to reassure NATO allies. President Biden earlier today meeting with his counterparts of the G7, agreeing to move forward on what he calls devastating packages of sanctions and other economic measures to hold Russia to account. This as a minority of the 150,000 Russian troops continue to advance into Ukraine from the east, from Belarus in the north and from the south in Crimea. Overnight, Russian President Putin declaring the beginning of what he calls a special military operation in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials now reporting Russian troops have reportedly taken full control of the exclusion zone around Chernobyl nuclear power station, including the plant itself. Troops also seizing an airport less than 20 miles away from Ukraine's capital of Kyiv. President Zelensky addressing his people today, saying what we're hearing was the sound of a new Iron Curtain lowering and closing Russia away from the civilized world. He also added that while Ukraine has suffered losses, they are fighting back and have captured some Russian soldiers. Many Ukrainians in several cities are preparing for the uncertainty ahead, lining up to withdraw money from banks and stocking up on gas and other supplies. Western Ukraine and Poland are also bracing for an influx of refugees, fleeing the fighting and bombing. President Biden says he has no intention of speaking with President Putin at this moment. He also says he thinks Putin wants to go beyond Ukraine. He says if he goes into NATO countries, the U.S. will get involved. But he says he does not believe that this conflict will last a very long time. Reporting from Washington, Zorin Shah, ABC News.